fixed-fold cameras. Your successful completion of the demonstrated repair ultimately depends on the quality of your tools, the condition of your camera, and most importantly, your repair ability. It is fairly common to find an OM-1 or an OM-2 with a misplaced idler gear causing a jammed condition. During the wind cycle, if the idler gear does not return completely, on the subsequent advance, the idler gear will then block the wind gears from completing their cycle. The idler gear screw can be removed by turning counterclockwise using a appropriately sized cross point screwdriver. If you attempt to remove this screw with a Phillips screwdriver, you more than likely will damage the screw. When lifting the idler gear free, you will find a return spring resting beneath the idler gear. Capture the spring and reposition it as shown here. Next, by using the wine lever, position the wine cam stack into a position to where the wind idler and the wine cam stack will mesh as they should. The proper position has the roller on the advanced lever arm resting in the notch of the cam stack. A weak or defective misshapen idler return spring is often the cause of the idler gear not working properly. The spring might have to be reshaped, repositioned, or even replaced for the idler gear to work properly. Once the spring is in position, seat the idler gear so that the two cam lobes and the two cam notches of the idler gear will match up upon advancing of the camera. Also make sure that the rubber stop tab on the shutter gear is resting against the stop bar. Lightly holding your index finger on the top of the idler gear, wind the camera wind mechanism with the advance lever to see if the gears mesh and return upon release. Cycle it a couple of times and then once satisfied, return the screw into its proper position and test again. As long as the idler gear returns upon the release of the shutter and does not block the advance upon winding the camera, you're obviously good to go. If it doesn't, you need to rework the spring or replace the spring, particularly if it is misshapen as this spring appears to be. Also check to make sure that the idler gear spins freely on its post. Once the idler gear and wind mechanism is working as it should, nothing left to do but put the bottom cover on, but not upside down and backwards. There, that's a little better fit. This simple repair is finished with the installation of the four countersunk crosspoint screws that retain the bottom cover. Thank you for watching. Inspired? Check back for new video postings.